Hello, of this Tiger and Fusey, and welcome back to the review on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Tales of the Tim and T, Volume 2, Issue Number 24, The Rock of the Ages. And with this one, I was somewhat curious by this one just because I wasn't too sure what to really expect just going off of the title. I was somewhat expecting something to do with like music and stuff like that. And then also the description for this issue, it will sound really interesting with a mysterious rock in the earth and robots and stuff like that. But with the actual story itself, it's a really disappointing one and a somewhat disappointing one because not much really happens. But also at the same time, I'm not too sure if they are setting things up for another issue for the story, but either way, it's, it's bad. <laughs> Okay, so we do first start off with a little bit here, which normally these bits I don't normally talk about too much just because, uh, you know, there's not really too much I can really say about them just because it's just like a one page thing just of a total just going on like saying, yeah, let me tell you a story. But with this one, we do get to see Leonardo, he's here, he's in like a foot headquarters I want to say, and he's with this body that looks dead in a way. And with some of his words here, they just feel out of character for him. Because he says that basically, like, when he's doing missions, he doesn't think, uh, he just acts. And I feel like that's really out, of, like, really out of character for Leonardo, just because he all seems like the character that would think things through instead of acting. And with the whole thing of him being a leader, he definitely would uh, like think a lot more than he does act. But I do feel like he's really out of character, but also then he goes on to explain for basically that he can reflect on his choices afterwards when he comes close to death and stuff like that, which again, it's just what like, feels really out of character for his character, but either way it's here, but I feel like the portrayal for Leonardo's character here was really out of character. And then he just goes on to say, yeah, let me tell you a story about how Ani came in contact with death. And yet throughout this whole issue, he doesn't come in contact with death whatsoever. He's, I mean, like he's at home, and the robots that are actually attacking the place are like somewhere else. So I really don't know why he's the one telling the story. If anything, it should be like Mikey or Raph because they're actually there. So it just seems really weird. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting so angry about this. It's only one page, but by God, it annoyed me so much. <laughs> Okay, so with the actual story itself, we do get to see these workmen, they've been working on this uh, tunnel, and it's, I, I don't know, it feels really weird reading this issue, just because of this one bit here. Now, they're building this uh, tunnel, and apparently they started it in 1970, and it's supposed to be finished by 2020. Now, it feels weird saying that, just because this comic came out, I want to say 2006, 2005, I'm not too sure when it roughly came out, but... Either way, they're talking about stuff for the future that would have been at least 15 years ahead. And to think that we've like now talking about this issue like a few years after 2020, it just feels really weird in a way, but yeah, that's how things go. But either way, the, tunnel, the people were working on the tunnel, were working on it, and that's when they come in contact with this rock thing. And this rock thing opens up and decides to just blow things up and just walk into the like New York Times Square, start blowing things up. The people get the military in, they've, and you know the robots are still blowing things up. And Mac uh, Mike and Raph, they are falling behind just because they're not too sure what to really do about it. Just because you know like these robots are like somewhat indestructible. So that's when Mikey comes up with a great idea to basically go over to them, put his nunchucks down and say like, yeah, come with me, like everything's going to be okay and safe and all that. And that's when they take them back to the lair and Leo, Donnie and Splinter are quite surprised by this and really shocked and, you know, like very like scared for their lives because of what the, I mean, I mean, you would be, I mean, that kind of situation. But they do take it upon themselves to somewhat start, like, start to uh, like learn from them and they experiment on them and like see like what they like where they come from and stuff like that and we do get to see that they're, and we do get to see like their home planet uh, from like a few years ago and it's interesting because like they do same in this issue that it does look a lot like earth and stuff like that and then it gets to a really interesting part which i do feel like is a really interesting thing for this issue but also at the same time, I do feel like they do leave it a little bit late, especially for this issue, if it's going to be like a one-shot uh, type of story. But with how they present this issue, it does feel like it's going to be one of these things that it might go on for a few more issues, which I am looking forward to, just because I'm not too sure what to expect. But at the same time, I feel like with a wait between like that like next issue, 
it, we could be waiting a quite a while. So I don't know if like I, I, I don't know how to really feel about it. But basically, the big revelation is that these robots are actually human, and that they came from Earth like two million years ago. And the Earth that they was on was a much better place. The Earth was actually like full and and you know like actually like together and stuff like that before it all got separated into the continents. Which I did think that was a pretty interesting thing for re really, like giving us more lore and history behind this world and stuff like that. But also at the same time, now we're really confused about like the stuff with dinosaurs and stuff like that for this Earth and you know how the evolution and stuff like that because. It was already human, how did they evolve and stuff like that, and how did they devolve with all the technology which they did have. Like, there's so many questions which I do have about this, but I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. But also going on about that is that, because, like, this, like, this, like, this is basically where they do leave the story off, which is somewhat of a good thing and also a bad thing, but at the same time, if I do, like, basically answer all these questions in the next issue, whenever that may be, that's also a good thing, but at the same time, I don't know if they will be continuing this story, or also they will actually, you know, do anything with it, and also, with how long it could take for the next issue, we don't know how, like, when it'll be, so, it's gonna be an interesting one, but at the same time, I'm not too sure what to really say of it, but, it's a really interesting concept, which I do like, and I just hope I do explore it in a future issue. So, yeah, overall, this issue was not great, I want to say. I feel like there are definitely some interesting things in this issue with the whole thing about the people like being from Earth from 2 million years ago when things were better and stuff like that. I do think that's really interesting, but with how they could play this all off will be the deciding factor for, like, for all of it, which I'm not too sure what to really make of it just yet, so I'll leave my judgement for that. But, yeah... And then for the artwork, I feel like, um, I, I don't know how to really describe it, I feel like with some other artists for, like, Turtles, they can draw humans and other characters, such as, like, Musplinter, the robots in this issue, the humans, they were drawn, like, really great, really well. However, for the Turtles, they just, I'm not too sure what to really make of them, because they do look like the Turtles, like I'm used to, but at the same time, there's something about their face that just feels very square, like a blocky in a way, and it's okay, but I feel like the artist could definitely do a better job of drawing the face in more of a turtles, like, turtle-esque uh, kind of way, with like, more, like, rounded, I want to say. I think that might be the best way of describing it, but it's okay, I want to say, but the I feel like the head shape is definitely the thing that's really holding this issue back quite a lot, so yeah. But yeah, I mean, overall, this issue was, it was somewhat okay, but really boring, and I think it's just really going to depend on how they really play this all off for the next uh, issue. So yeah, let me know in the comment section below, what do you think about this issue? Do you like it? Do you not? Um, what do you think about the concept or the idea about the humans being better off like two, millions, like two million years ago before we were around, stuff like that? Also, do you feel a bit old now, knowing that this issue was talking about stuff for 2020, like 15 years ago, and now we're past that? Yikes, yeah, this is really <laughs> making me feel old. So, uh, yeah, uh, that's going to be today, guys. If you just want, please share, like, subscribe, and all that stuff. Goodbye, yo, bye.